Are we talking about free speech or lies and garbage? This is a world This is a world premiere. This is a world Hey y'all, welcome to some food for thought. So today I'm gonna talk a little bit, I'm gonna get down in the comments section. I thought you'd be interested in some of the responses from some of the more recent videos and I'm gonna respond to some things that I've been seeing just generally on the YouTube. Before I jump into the comment section though, I wanna say happy birthday to Foot Soldier, formerly vegan Foot Soldier who recently reached one year of broadcasting. So yesterday in my video I talked a little bit about the vegan cheetah and Kaori Flora responded with the vegan cheetah would rather be despised than ignored and Charlie is floundering somewhere in the middle of that while trying to manage his his addictive tendencies it's not about politics he doesn't articulate a particular political position he just snatches right-wing sound bites from the likes of Paul Joseph Watson Laura Southern Alex Jones and everyone and tosses in frequent slander insults and Trump isms in a desperate ploy for attention and relevancy. So I left a comment on Vegan Cheetah's video and he responded to it and I'm not sure exactly if he understood where I was coming from and he seems to be pushing this idea now in his most recent video of free speech and the fact that somehow losing his platform is an attack on free speech and he just doesn't seem to understand the idea that free speech is not about someone giving you a space to say whatever it is that you want to say. Free speech. <laughs> Jack, you know, free speech is about saying what you want to say without fear of retaliation from the government. It doesn't promise that you're going to be able to say whatever you want to say and not suffer any consequences. And that relates to another comment. Running on Empty says, I wasn't sure whether this comment went with this video or the last one, but hey, here it is. Looking at the US from afar here in rainy Scotland, I find the attitude to free speech quite perplexing. I think that's the word I'm looking for. The attitude of the right in Charlottesville, Vegan Cheetah, and many people in the comment sections and social media have something in common, the idea of free speech without consequences. But uh, yeah, so thank you so much to Running on Empty. Nunya Bidnez says, if I thought Vegan Cheetah even believed half of what he says, I might think he's worth saving, but in my opinion, he's something worse than a garden variety racist who is operating from a place of fear. He purposely foments fear, racism, racism and hatred for fame and money, which makes him kind of scummy. Reg, I'd really be interested to hear your thoughts on the paradox of tolerance if you've done a video on it, or could you point me in the right direction? Yeah, thanks Nunya for this, and I really do want to to make a video on tolerance and just talk about it more at length. But my response to Nunya was that I often feel like um, my own tolerance sometimes feels a little bit like moral weakness, like I'm letting things slide for people I don't know because it gives me, you know, more space to be, I don't know, less moral, I don't know. But um, I, I would love to know what you guys think and would you like to see a longer video on the subject of tolerance? Uh, the subject of tolerance and where we, where perhaps we take tolerance a little bit too far. So what's interesting is I've actually seen some similarities between Vegan Cheetah, who I happened to talk about in my video yesterday, and that was not so much to talk about Vegan Cheetah, but just to kind of point out that people seem to think that there's, you know, I don't know, I don't want to say no justice in the world, but people seem to feel like, you know, they can just say anything and that there's, you know, folks out there to defend their right to be as offensive as possible, to be as shocking as possible, and that there aren't going to be consequences. And Vegan Cheetah is an example of this, but I think we're also seeing Donald Trump discovering that, you know, he can't say just anything he wants to say without repercussions. And I think it started out with him on the campaign trail saying things that were pretty shocking and pretty offensive to people and getting some backlash on the left. But now what we're seeing is that it's conservatives. It's people on the right who are saying, Donald Trump, shut up, <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, when is he gonna start listening to folks? I don't know. So Unnatural Vegan is at it again, um, making uh, several videos now about what the health and trying to debunk the science there and not really debunk it, but really just paint themselves as being 
more you know qualified to just more qualified to talk about these things and uh, it's really interesting because in a recent call out video from the foot soldier you know he points out one particular uh, fallacy and that was um where the you know where um a natural vegan is trying to say that there are better ways to deal with diabetes and you know he you know admits that yes there may be ways to deal with diabetes better than what is described in the film and when i say better it might address the diabetes but what he what she neglects to mention a natural vegan is that those methods for dealing with diabetes would then possibly cause heart disease or possibly lead to cancer right so um um we end up right back at that conversation about intersectionality you might have to be a little intersectional a natural vegan Swayze you might have to be a little more intersectional when you talk about you know diets that are healthy because you also while you're thinking about diabetes you might want to be thinking about heart disease you might want to be thinking about cancer you just might want to be thinking about any of the other ailments that are food related when you start giving us advice about what's you know okay to eat I don't know what do you think so Donald Trump is going to get us out of Afghanistan and I guess that makes me happy. We've been there for close to 17 years, if not 17 years. Of course, he hasn't articulated a strategy for how he's going to do this based on the way he promised to repeal and replace health care based on everything else that he's basically tried to do in his administration. It is likely that it's not going to happen according to his plans, but it's nice of him to, you know, it's the thought that counts. What's less surprising is that getting out of Afghanistan was one of his campaign promises. It's something that he got his base excited about. Of course, people seem to have forgotten that it was just a few weeks ago that he was talking about the mineral deposits that are in Afghanistan and how we should go in there and get them. So it doesn't surprise me at all that he's now talking about an increased military presence in Afghanistan. He's, you know, a greedy dude and he wants that stuff. I'm remembering the things that were said about Hillary Clinton and how if Hillary Clinton was elected, she was definitely going to be getting us into a war. And I don't know, maybe folks who voted for Trump aren't having buyer's regret, but there may be some people who voted for Trump because of what they thought Hillary was going to do. And now that they see Trump basically heading down many of the same roads that Hillary would have led us down, I think that people, you know, maybe starting to rethink that decision. I got a lovely response from Margaret of Mod Vegan. Obviously, I shouted Mod Vegan out in my recent video, but surprisingly, the comment from Margaret got a little bit of backlash from Vegan Revolution. You can't see it, but it says, Mod Vegan, your essays to present yourself as tolerant seem like suppressed racism in denial. Now, I'm not usually one to call out the, you know, disputes that happen in the comments section, but it was, for me, quite remarkable that Vegan Revolution, who has been accused in the past of being insensitive to issues of race, would be calling out Margaret, who has often espoused, well, rejected uh, people who espouse racist ideology. So I'm really interested in what uh, is happening with Vegan Revolution, that racism is even on uh, their radar. And I wonder if this might be something that Vegan Revolution might want to address in a longer video. Not necessarily a call out video of Margaret, but you know, how Vegan Revolution has come to this epiphany about, you know, what racism looks like and what suppressed racism looks like and that suppressed racism even exists. And Vegan Revolution, I'm not being a hater. You know that I really admire you. I admire your work. And this is probably something that we should do some kind of a collaboration video. Maybe it's time for me to get on your podcast finally, huh? I promise you I'll be following up with that review and I'm also going to be following up with a video talking a little bit more more about Steve Bannon and what it means that he's left the White House. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a
So I guess I'm joining the ranks of those who are crying about the fact that a lot of their videos are being demonetized. Actually, I'm not crying about the fact that they're demonetized, but I've been getting many of my, actually most of my videos have been marked not suitable for all audiences or something like that. I don't know, but um, I'm not that worried about it. I really don't pay much attention to the income that I get off of YouTube. It's probably, I think my highest earning month was something like 30 bucks. Um, I think I'll get by. Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe somebody can uh, take me out for a drink or something or for a coffee.